Near Benny. Oh, someone new to play with. What good luck I have lately. I was just trying to get bored. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. Father's whereabouts is on these recordings. Ugh. We have several recordings to go through. Let's start with the first entry, which would be. Hmm. I guess this one. Wait, better days? Let's listen to that one first. That batch of tests was inconclusive, but Madison and I are convinced it's a problem with the secondary filtration oh. system. We're going to Mother. recalibrate the equipment and try again tomorrow, so that. James, please. I'm trying to work. Now's not the time. So that's the next step. Assuming we get the results we need, we'll move on to. James! <laughs> Stop! I need to finish these notes! <laughs> we'll move on to diagnosing the issues with the radiation dampeners. That should- Ow! James! Now? We really shouldn't. <laughs> okay. I did not need to hear that. Project Purity Personal Journal. Here we are again, Project Purity and me. It's been close to 20 years since my last entry, since I left all of this behind to make a life for my daughter. We've spent that time in Vault 101, tucked away from the rest of the world. It wasn't perfect, but it was safe, and that's all I could have hoped for. Now my daughter is a grown woman, beautiful, intelligent, confident, just like her mother. And as hard as it was to admit it, she doesn't need her daddy anymore. How wrong you are. So, here I am, back where it was. Okay, then two entries are the same. This is day two of my attempt to resurrect this project. I've got one of the portable fusion generators up and running. But it's just enough to power the emergency lighting and a couple of other systems. Hmm, okay. But doesn't lead us to information. I spoke with Dr. Lee Madison at risk. Okay, well, it doesn't help us either. It's time to go. The project was in trouble before, both internally and externally. Progress has come to a halt, both because our recalculations have gotten us nowhere, and because the mutant attacks occur several times a day. Interesting. Let's listen to this one. I'm off to Vault 112 to search for anything of bronze that might help me get this purifier up and running. All I know is that it's west of some place called Evergreen Mills, and it's well hidden in some sort of garage. But I'll find it. I have to. It's so close. But that's the story of Project Purity, isn't it? An eternity of almost theirs. Let's see if Braun has the missing puzzle piece. Missing puzzle piece? What is... What is my old man talking about? I am at a loss. My beloved wife is gone. In her place is my daughter. Small and helpless. As much as this place means to me, as much as it meant to Catherine, this is no place for an infant. Even in Vault 101, my work on Project Purity never really stopped. Soon after we arrived, 
My nightly routine included sneaking into the restricted area. Interesting. To be honest, yeah. the Gek sounded like pure fantasy. The Gek. Even for someone of... <sighs> okay, so think about it. Think about it. Vault 112, 112, 112. Vault 112. The fire has been implanted. So now we just need to take off. Let's see now. Helmet regulator. I didn't leave my imprint, so that should take us there. Here's helping. I think we're on course. Vault 112, 112. Come on, old girl, take us there. Taking a little extra long to fly. Mm. We're landing. Rematerializing. Mm, we're good on fuel. For now, anyways. Out these doors could be Vault 112. I'm sure of it. Mm. This is an interesting place. Hmm, Mr. Handy. No, I don't think it's Mr. Handy. Hey guys, how's it going? It's guys okay here and welcome to episode eleven. Um, yeah, I should have talked earlier, but I was getting right into the roleplay. <laughs> and in this this episode, we're gonna get our father back. And if you've seen, if you played Fallout 3, you know what we're about to get into. I do have to warn you guys that because I'm using New Vegas and TTW, there might be some problems. So my character might look weird after we get done with doing this quest. And I'll have to fix 
that. So, that'll be later if that happens, and I figure it will. Anyways, carrying on with our story here. Hmm. So this is the garage. Is this where post Vault 112 supposed to be? Sammy's. I guess so. Red roaches. Yeah. The new quantum. More iron roaches? No. You are definitely not a red roach. Gun cabinet. A magnum. Mm, I'll take that. You would be surprised what you could find. Duct tape. Scrap electronics. That is very handy. Especially for a time lady. You won't believe the gizmos I could create with that. Oh, more duct tape. Large box. Oh. Okay, that was interesting. A new bottle. Interesting. Moving on. This is the door to Vault 112. I know I'm going to see things a little bit more tougher lately. Yeah. Mole rats. We're definitely going to need some better equipment. Even a shotgun ain't going to cut it. Maybe it's time I built that laser, laser sonic screwdriver. It is about time I use some Gallifreyan tick for sure. <laughs> of course, I don't think my father would approve of Gallifreyan tick, but he never knew mom was Gallifreyan, so. <sighs> This place is quiet. Vault 112, here we are.
Hmm. No guards, nothing like that. This place is a little quiet. To Vault 112, resident. According to sensors, you have arrived 202.3 years behind schedule. Please redress in your Vault Tech issued Vault suit before proceeding. If you have misplaced your suit, I am authorized to distribute a new one. Once dressed, please proceed down the stairs to the main floor so that you may enter your assigned Tranquility Lounger. Oh, really? Please take a seat in the nearest available tr How fun. Tranquility Lounger, thank you for your cooperation. Yes. I definitely need my Sonic. Laser. It would be handy to destroy everything in this place. Oh my. Listen to me talk. Mother did say, well, father said that I had a dark personality. Oh, hello. Interesting. I see. I see, I see. Holographic world. This is going to be slightly disturbing. How interesting. Interesting, what is this? Such Hey the sport. Beautiful day, isn't it? Say, you should go talk to Betty. She's waiting for you over on the playground. Have fun, sport. Sport. Okay, Benny. You're Benny. Oh, someone new to play with. What good luck I have lately. I was just trying to get bored. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. I'm Betty. I live here on Tranquility Lane. Yes. Want to play a game? I knew you would. It's a really simple game. All you have to do is make Timmy Newsbum cry. He's the only other kid that lives here besides you. He's a big crybaby. You'll see. Make him cry, and then come back here so we can talk some more. I'm not a fool, young lady. Or should I say, oh man. Us friends, we're not fooled by morons like you. I've learned 
from a certain person called the Master about morons like you. Actually, you taught me everything I know. <laughs> That's why I love making people suffer. Now, which house is it? Hmm, interesting. I'm supposed to make that kid cry, but if I do that, there's no fun in it. Yeah. Well, I'll play along for now. So yeah, I'm gonna make the. Yeah. You're not supposed to be here. You're not supposed to be here. <laughs> It's not real. None of it. It needs to end. The suffering must end. Oh, really? We're not really here. We're not really talking. Yes, it's yes, oh, I know that. Make believe. We're sleeping, dreaming. The dream became a nightmare. It has to end. It just has to. But we're not in charge. He is. And he doesn't want us to wake up. He calls himself Betty now, but he's still the same. He can put on a new face all he likes, but underneath he's still evil. Braun, bastard thinks because he helped create this place. Yes, I know. Here. I figured that much he already. He uses the fail-safe terminal. I know it. It's in the abandoned house. He doesn't want us going in there because he's afraid we might find it. It's the only terminal to the outside. The only way to shut the whole thing down. You've got to find it. Hmm. Hell safe, huh? Well, first things first. Let's make a kid cry. That's always important. Someone thinks they can play at my own game. They think they think themselves one of our kind? No. Hmm, so there are musical notes. Mm hmm. Interesting. Amazing what you find. Interesting, interesting. Excess version control.
I'm going to quick save here, guys, because I think this is the right one to do, but I might be wrong. See your caution. And now we're out. You have saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. Oh, it's so good to see you, but what are you doing here? Well, I'm glad you did. This certainly wasn't how I expected things to turn out. I wasn't ready for Braun, or I might have fared better. <laughs> what, you didn't like being a dog? Well, I suppose it had its moments. But in the end, I much prefer having opposable thumbs. <laughs> now that I'm back, I can get back to work. I need to tell Madison what I've learned. I was right about Dawn. The technology he developed is unstable, even dangerous. But it can be adapted for Project Purity. I need to return to Rivet City and talk with Madison. If we can find a Gek, we can make Project Purity work. Yes, with what I've learned, Madison is sure to see that we can finally succeed where we failed so many years ago. I'd like you to come with me. I'd like you to be there when we finally open the floodgates. Really? You're not going to join me? Coming all this way after me, I'd have thought you'd want to help. I have to keep going. I can't stop now. I'm going back to Rivet City. Meet me there if you change your mind. I... It would be good to work with you, honey. I'll meet you there, Father. Be careful, sweetie. Okay, so I need my messing up. And... And as you can see, we look horrible. And that's what I get when that does that. Horrible is horrible, so I'm going to make our way back to the TARDIS. And I think I go this way. See, when things happen like that, I have to do that. Come on, quick save. Okay, guys, I'm going to cut it here. I'll see you guys in a few minutes after I fix some things. And I'll be back. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, yeah, I'm back. I fixed my character. She's back to slightly looking normal. I had to do a shell race menu to fix the base and stuff. Because it completely altered my character back to a different, to like a default look. And it took away my race that I had pretty much set up. So I had to fix that. I had to fix my stats. I had to fix my skills here. So, yeah. 
I had no choice but to fix them because they were not where they were. And my science and stuff was not the particular place I had worked. I did. I was work had worked on. So yeah. Now with that out of the way, we can continue on with our our um. Blah, blah. Uh, we can continue. We'll meet up with our fa father back at River City Science Lab, and yeah, we're about to go there. Take off in the Tarnus. I must apologize if you're hearing my sounds are sounding horrific. Sorry about it. I don't know what's causing it. I think it's OBS. Hopefully I fixed it, but I can probably doubt that I did. OBS is kind of weird when it comes to sounds. So I'll see you guys in a couple minutes, because it's going to take, I don't know how long it'll take us to land, but it usually takes forever. See you in a few. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, sorry, <laughs> we just landed with what I should have meant, meant to say. I kind of, yeah, I stopped the recording for a minute to real life things showing up. Anyways, we're gonna go out the doors and we'll be in the science area. Hey guys, we're back, and I kind of cut it from when we were in the TARDIS to here to save you the trip from seeing that portion of the recording. I forget which way we were supposed to go, but whatever. Did you need something? I told you it would work, Madison, and now I can prove it. James, you're back. And with good news. I was right about Braun and the Gek. If we can find one, we should She looks a little different from the last time. What the heck? I'd like to believe you, James. I really would. This is all just so... I'm off to so work. So sudden. Madison, I'm telling you, this is real. I talked to Braun himself. He confirmed it. Don't you see? This is what we've been waiting for. I... I don't know, James. So many years have passed. Is it really still worth trying? How could it not be worth improving the lives of everyone in the wasteland? What could be Doctor Lee looks a little. You haven't lost any of your passion. Weird. Why don't you guys agree with me? me as ever she looks so. really, really you know, weird. To you two. Let's finish it together. James, I... we don't have a gek. I can get a small team together, but we'll need proof that it works before people believe us. I know. I was thinking about that. The lab at the facility had some old pre-war computers that we scavenged. One of them might be useful. From the last reports, there's no power at the facility. Even if one of those computers had a database, we couldn't access it. That's why we're going to head over there right now and get things up and running as best we can. You know, if oh, the joy is of fun. Do this, I'd have them run right out of Rivet City. And you know I wouldn't be here if I didn't think this would really work. It's time, Madison. Damn you, James. When this is all over, you owe me a drink. I'll get the team together. Thank you, Madison. It's good to be working with you again. Hello, honey. We need to get back to Project Purity. The computer there is our best chance to locate a Gek. Probably, but we have to try, don't we? It's too important for the people of the Wasteland to let fear stop us now. We need to get moving right away. Are you coming with us? 
Oh, I'm not going to go with you. I'll meet you there. Are you sure? We could use your help. If you change your mind, you can always meet up with us along the way. If nothing else, come see me once we're set up. Now with that, guys, we're done talking to them. Um, I tell them I wasn't got repairs around here. So if you see something that needs fixing, let me know. Uh, whatever, dude. Um, like I was saying, guys, I'm gonna pretty much. I moved the new plant beds under the sun lamps. Thank you, Garza. Pretty much, we're gonna end up there. Um, let's head back to the. Oh, uh, please tell me I locked it. Oh, freak. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Forty-four Magnum. Tyrus is still here. Ooh, I did lock it. Yay me! <laughs> uh, you got love freaking out when you're thinking you forgot to lock the TARDIS. And yeah, okay, and I think we're good. Okay. So guys, I hope you liked this episode. It's a little random. Uh, yeah. We're gonna make our trip over to the Jefferson Memorial. I'm gonna leave the TARDIS parked here. Cause that would be bad if we moved to TARDIS. We're coming With the coming events coming, it's gonna be bad. So, yeah. I may move the TARDIS later. I still have the emergency TARDIS kits on me, but we come back to the TARDIS on purpose for a reason, and I'm going to reveal that reason in the next episode. So, guys, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. We would really love it if you get more of you guys would subscribe to us. And just uh, something else. If you guys want to support me in Plague, we have a Patreon page you're welcome to go to. And you're welcome to support us on there if you want. Anyways, guys, this is me, Azuka. I'm signing off. Peace and all good things. Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.